entrepreneurs get really excited about what they believe is their breakthrough and their idea, and they know it's great, and they know it's right, and they're really excited about it. <laughs> but one of two things happens. Either lots of people buy it or they don't. Um, and it's that's where it's hard. A lot of entrepreneurs that I mentor and work with, uh, a, a lot of times the hardest thing to tell them is to let go. It's not working. So one of the things that's really important to do, and I will tell you most entrepreneurs do not do this well, is at the very beginning, when you, before you start, when you're first starting to create a product or a service, it's really important to define success and failure before you start. Take a piece of paper and write down, if I succeed, it will look like this. And if I fail, it would look like this. So that as you're going, what we, what we typically do is we do, we do one year and two year goals, but we break them into 90 day, into sort of quarterly increments. So every 90 days we stop, we look at, here's what we expected to get done in the last 90 days. Did we get that done? So we stop every couple of months and, and me measure as many quantifiable measurements as you can. Did, you know, again, units of sales or pricing or profits or manufacturing, number of products developed, whatever it is, things that you can measure. And we write those down in front and we say in 90 days we should be at these numbers. In 120 days, 180 days. So as you go along, you've got to stop and be honest with yourself and say, look, we just hit 90 days and we only made 60% of the numbers. These were the numbers we said, if we hit these accomplishments, we would consider this success and we're only at 60% of them. So it is not success. And you've got to stop and say, is it is the reason we didn't achieve our goal something we can change or not? Because if it's not something you have control of, for example, nobody just people don't buy the product, people don't sign up for the service, that's the point at which you should need to say maybe it isn't working, but it has to be quantifiable and measurable, and you have to be willing to say if you can't do something different the next 90 days to change the results, maybe you just missed. Maybe it wasn't as good of an idea as you thought, and you should let go.